when people think of Siem Reap province, they only think of the temples and they will come here just want to explore and experience the uh, ancient temples here. So uh, besides temples, what else beyond that can a tourist experience in Siem Reap province? Yes, thank you uh, to my to my for uh, today and it's the opportunity uh, for me on behalf of the Cambodia Tourism Association. It's the pleasure to introduce our destination. Of course, um, the, the, the main uh, target for the destination to uh, Siem Reap, especially to Cambodia and Siem Reap, tourists may think that Angkor Wat is the, 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 the first destination. As we know that Angkor Wat is the world heritage, uh, the new heritage in the world that everyone really admires of uh, what the uh, Cambodian uh, ancestors have uh, like built and for a thousand years, it is really uh, in the world. So um, back to the questions, um, beside Angkor, uh, what else we should introduce to the tourists? Of course, there are so many things in here like with the tradition. Cambodia have a long history and amazing past. We have our friendly people, a big smile, and welcome to tourists around the world. And when, when they are coming here, they always welcome by heart. They will come by heart. So we have our uh, gastronomy uh, with the selection of dishes, like uh, I mentioned already before. Uh, we have amok. It really specialty and amok is really the food that we uh, usually uh, made from fish or chicken in a banana leaf. So the fish is from the Great Lake Tun Lisap. As you know, Tun Lisap is one of the great uh, water lake in Asia, the biggest lake in Asia. So it's well known and getting very impressive for the tourists as well. And beside, uh, we have a community uh, which is uh, in the area beside Angkor. We have the, um, like Phnom Kulen, uh, the waterfall, the sacred place. Uh, which is the, already very uh, famous and uh, attractive for tourists to explore and to adventure. So tourists besides visiting the temple, they can do like a camping or like stay at the homestay in the uh, uh, like uh, community base in the area in the in the area of Siem Reap for like a couple of nights and to share and to live to experience with local and taste the local food. Uh, beside that, there's also some village in the rural area. We still have some uh, untouched destination that people is really rich to the, the area and um, uh, being uh, operated by some of the tour operators that they extend the, uh, the destination uh, to the area like uh, to uh, Bontistroy area or in the northern part of uh, in Warrant or some part in the some far out like um, uh, Knapo community and they have a very nice uh, mangrove and uh, to explore and they have the camping area where people can uh, experience truly really experience to share cultures yeah. uh, yeah. yes. uh, you mentioned that uh, Cambodian people are friendly and always welcome to respond hard. So uh, what else besides that's, that is special about the local community mm -hmm. here is that mm -hmm. you know that can attract tourists mm -hmm. more to come? Well, uh, Khmer people, it, we all know that Khmer people, uh, the first thing is the impression. Yeah. So impression is by heart. Mm -hmm. So when you have first impression, when you meet people, when you have a first impression, it really from your heart. It really can tell, your mind will tell to the, the tourists and tourists can feel that it really uh, true and really uh, honest and really a big smile from heart. So they really give a very, how you say, personal touch. And the first impression is really being a great uh, relationship. Yeah. yeah, like relationship. So when you meet people, when you have a very pure heart and you show really pure expression to the people, so this will tell to your uh, people, to the, the people who communicate with you, they can have the feeling uh, that you are really uh, have the person with the, like, I would say, on, honest heart. Uh, yeah, honest heart that you really can be trust and can be like uh, a good people to communicate, to, to be in relationship, for example. Yeah. There are also ethnic group residing in the Angkor Park. Yeah. So can they be one of the factors that can um, attract tourists? Yeah, that in fact it's very important to think about it and uh, really saying to the government also thought about that very carefully. Um, you know, like tourists, the uh, intention to visit uh, Cambodia, especially Siem Reap, is not just only the temple. So they want to visit the people. They want to see the people, how the people of nowadays and comparing to the past, why they built so great temple like that in the thousand years ago. So based on the, the fact that there are small ethnic group who live currently in the Pradak village, 
Okay, right now it, the, the village already developed and you know you cannot see uh, any more much trace about the, the, the original of the ethnic of the, uh, the people there. But uh, you can feel, you can uh, hear, you can feel uh, the difference of their you know, speaking, the language they speak with a little bit different from our people from the town or from other provinces. <coughs> ពួកខ្ញុំនេះនិយាយតែធម្មតាអត់មាននិយាយទៅខាងអូទៅ um, the exception of those people in the Preda um, is the warm heart. They are very honest because they mostly they grow uh, in the area nearby the Enko and they live there for life. So from generation to generation. So those people, they have uh, devoted their life and they live with uh, like the king, they live with uh, you know, the ancestor who built the great empire, they build the great temple in the area. So back to nowadays, I can say um, it can be like uh, 10 to 20 uh, percent of those are still uh, remain in behavior and remain uh, like um, uh, practicing of their traditions uh, which uh, belong to the Khmer's in the past. So um, those people are very important to my opinion. So uh, we keep them and to give, uh, you know, like to practice of their tradition, to keep uh, the temple, to keep the, the, the tradition uh, live, you know, like for a long, for lasting, yeah. Uh, COVID-19 has the consequences, and we all know that. And right now, Sambit Province is trying to restore its mm -hmm. economy, yeah. and also trying to restore the tourism um, uh, sector. Mm -hmm. So uh, how do you see the potential of uh, the tourism in this year, 2024? Yes, um, actually we can see um, the tourist number increase, okay, um, even though it's not like what we expected, but the number constantly increased uh, like month by month, okay, in the, uh, in, in the numbers. So we can see uh, more frequency of the flight into the area. So right now we have approximately 18 to, uh, 17 to 18 flights per day to Siem Reap from a near, nearby uh, country, from our neighboring, uh, neighboring uh, Asian country, like from Vietnam, uh, from Thailand, and from uh, like Laos, or from yeah, other destinations to uh, Siem Reap. So uh, based on the statistic, we see the number, it, it really increased. Yeah, it really increased. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's mean uh, you hope that 2024 more tourists will come to visit? Um, well, we expect, we expect 2024 would be uh, greater would be greater as based on the effort from the government and the private sector we are already committed to build back tourism by 2024 as already aware that uh, Cambodia have just celebrated and uh, officially announced of uh, 2024 year exchange uh, people to people with uh, China and for that the uh, opening official of uh, that ceremony is not only just to conduct to show the world that uh, Cambodia China relation but it's also to boosting tourism to the destination as we have already built a new airport okay so we need more like tourists to fly in to attract more destination to Cambodia from uh, various country from the nearby country in Asia and also from Europe yeah thank you very much welcome yeah.